Good evening. Uh, at the beginning, I would like to present my profound thanks and deep appreciation to uh, my mentor, Professor Dr. Hassan Okesha, for uh, endless uh, for his endless support and giving me the opportunity uh, to share this great event. My talk today about EOS examination in mediastino. Combined imaging and sampling by EOS FNA. EBUS FNA are the technique of choice in case of mediastinal nodal sampling, which is the mainstay for diagnosis and staging of lung cancer. EOS and EBUS have a complementary diagnostic yield. And in combination, virtually all mediastinal lymph nodes can be biopsied. EOS FNA allow tissue samples from mediastinal lymphadenopathy, other mediastinal masses, and finally from centrally located lung tumor. Mediastinal lymphadenopathy, which are either inflammatory or malignant. Euplastic disease, including primary lung cancer, metastasis, and lymphoma. While inflammatory diseases, including sarcoidosis and tuberculosis. Typical ultrasound criteria for malignant mediastinal lymph nodes include size, short axis more than 10 millimeters, round shape, heterogeneous ecogenicity or hypoechoic echo pattern, sharp distinctive margin, coagulation necrosis sign, absence of echogenic hyalur structure, and absence of centrally nodal vessel. Lymph node station according to Yazlik classification. The International Association of Lung Cancer classification defines a total lymph node station numbered from 1 to 14. Station 1 are uh, present in the root of the neck, while station 2 to 9 are uh, within the mediastinum, station 10 to 14 are within the hilum and along the bronchi in lung parenchyma. Lymph node lying adjacent to esophagus and or centrally located vessels can be visualized by EOS. 12 lymph nodes are seen by EOS. Station 1 in the root of the neck, station 2 left, station 3A, Station 4L, Station 5, subaortic lymph node, Station 6, baraortic lymph node, Station 7, subcarinal lymph node, Station 8, lower baraesophageal lymph node, Station 9, pulmonary ligament, ligamentum lymph node, Station 10, to left and to right, hilar lymph node, and uh, Station uh, 4, right. Uh, this figure showing mediastinal lymph node uh, examination by EOS only, EBUS only, and with both of them. Standard technique for imaging of mediastinum by linear EOS. EOS examination for mediastinum has six stations. Station one above the thoracic inlet, station two above the level of arch of aorta, station three at the level of arch of aorta, uh, about 22 centimeters from the incisors. Station four at the level of right pulmonary artery. Station five at the level of left atrium. And finally, station six, blue diaphragm. Six position for examination of mediastinum, as we said by EOS. During uh, imaging from the esophagus, there are 13 centimeter landmark of importance. The upper border of arch of aorta, about 22 to 23 centimeters from the incisors. Lower border of arch of aorta, the end of trachea, lower border of arch of azygous vein, upper border of left pulmonary artery, all of them at 25 centimeters from the incisors. While upper border of left atrium at 30 centimeters, and finally the cross of diaphragm about 40 centimeters from the incisors. The mediastinum can be examined by 180 to, 30, uh, to uh, 360 degree rotation of the endoscope from six position. At each position, we will identify the home base, anatomical landmark, gastric border, and lymph node station. Position one, as a cervical esophagus. 15 to 18 centimeters with home base, thyroid gland, or the arch of the aorta. The anatomical landmark, including great vessels of the neck, left common carotid, left internal jugular vein, right common carotid, and right internal jugular vein. 
uh, to make our lecture today uh, more simplified, I will skip the Iaslik border to be discussed uh, uh, once later in uh, other sessions. Uh, here, the position uh, one, the cervical esophagus, this uh, image show transverse section of the neck. This is the trachea uh, and the esophagus behind it. And uh, this is the left loop of thyroid gland, left common carotid artery, left internal jugular vein, and the lymph node close or near to left common carotid artery, this is lymph node station one, the supraclavicular lymph node. This video showing the left loop of thyroid, this is the sternomastoid muscle. Uh, also, this is the left internal jugular vein beyond the thyroid. Uh, this is the left common carotid artery in the root of the neck. And this lymph node uh, near to uh, left common carotid is lymph node in the supraclavicular fossa, uh, is lymph node station one within the carotid cheese. Again, uh, this image showing the lymph node station one near the left common carotid artery in the root of the neck. And also, this is the left internal jugular vein, as we mentioned before, uh, beyond the thyroid uh, gland. Uh, this is the left loop of thyroid and the sternomastoid muscle. Position two, above the arch of aorta, from 18 to 23 centimeters. The home base is the arch of aorta. The scope is pulled up two centimeters above the aortic arch, then clockwise rotation from the left lateral wall of the esophagus, as we uh, show in this image. This is the left subclavian artery, then clockwise rotation more and more to uh, get the left common carotid artery. Uh, left subclavian uh, vein joins the left internal jugular vein to form the seagull, venous seagull, and form the left brachiocephalic vein near the left common carotid artery. The left brachiocephalic vein crosses the three main arteries in the, uh, above the arch of aorta to join its right uh, uh, brachiocephalic vein and form the sub, uh, superior vena cava. Uh, this animation shows the uh, branches of from the aorta, the arterial branches, the left subclavian artery, and the left common carotid artery. Also, the venous seagull in uh, front of left common carotid artery, left internal jugular vein joining the left subclavian vein to form a left brachiocephalic vein. Uh, this is the upper end point of the descending aorta where we uh, will uh, trace the uh, uh, aortic arch. This is the first branch from the aorta. This is the left subclavian artery originating from the aorta. Then with clockwise rotation and withdrawal the scope a few centimeters, we will find the left common carotid artery, the second branch from the arch of aorta. Uh, with uh, slight manipulation, clockwise and anticlockwise, we can find the venous seagull in front of left common carotid artery, uh, where the left internal jugular vein joins the left subclavian vein to form the left brachiocephalic vein. Lymph node lying in front of left internal jugular vein and the left common carotid is lymph node station 3A. All lymph and the same lymph node are subdivided into right and left, except uh, lymph node station 3, which is uh, lymph node anterior and posterior. This lymph node is lymph node station A, 3A, in front of left internal jugular vein and the left common carotid. Again, this is the arch of the aorta and the origin of left common carotid and uh, the venous seagull left subclavian vein joining left internal jugular vein to form the left brachiocephalic vein. Lymph node station 2L, line medial 2, left subclavian artery, as we uh, see in this uh, animation, left node, uh, uh, left node uh, lymph node station 2L, lie medial to uh, left subclavian artery. While lymph node station 3A lie anterior to left common carotid and uh, left internal jugular vein. Lymph node station 3B and 2R uh, are not seen by EOS. This figure showing lymph node station 2L, medial 2, the left subclavian artery, which is the first branch from the aortic arch. Again, this echo image 
showing the left, uh, lymph node station 2L, medial to uh, the left subclavian artery originating from the arch of aorta. Again, uh, when we, uh, uh, with clockwise rotation and withdraw a few centimeters of the echoscope, uh, we will find uh, the left common carotid artery uh, from the left subclavian artery. So we will uh, swing from station 2L to station 3A. As we, we can see in this video, again, this is the left common carotid artery. In front uh, of uh, it, there is uh, the uh, venous seagull, left internal jugular vein, joining the left subclavian vein, forming the left brachiocephalic vein, and the lymph node uh, station 3A lying in front of the left internal jugular vein and the left common carotid. So position number two, uh, including lymph node station 2L and 3A examined by EOS, and 2R and 3B examined by EBUS. Position three as arch of the aorta, uh, about 23 to 25 centimeters. Uh, uh, anatomical landmark including the descending aorta, the arch of the aorta, the azygous vein, and the arch of azygous vein. Uh, as we see in this uh, figure, this the lower border of the arch of aorta with the lower border of arch of azygous vein with the carina of trachea with the upper border of left pulmonary artery all of them at 25 centimeters from the incisors descending aorta ascend close to the left posterior lateral wall of the esophagus while uh, uh, arch of aorta identified at 23 centimeters by clockwise rotation from the upper end point of descending aorta a zygous vein can be located by rotating approximately uh, 90 degree in anti-clockwise rotation from the descending aorta. So the descending aorta is our landmark. We can find the azygous vein uh, by uh, anti-clockwise rotation, 90 degree in anti-clockwise uh, rotation. Uh, and the uh, azygous vein can ascend, uh, are ascend close to the right posterior lateral wall of the esophagus till 25 centimeter where it arch above the right root of the lung to join the superior vena cava and form the arch of azygous vein. This video showing the descending aorta at the gastroesophageal junction. Uh, we withdrew the scope approximately aboard. Uh, as we see, we can see the mirror image uh, identification from the descending aorta, uh, where the aorta interface with the left lung. Uh, we uh, withdraw the scope more and more till we reach its upper end point, where we can uh, do torquing clockwise rotation to trace the uh, arch of uh, the aorta and its branches, left common carotid and the left subclavian artery. This video showing the azygous vein. Azygous vein extends from uh, 40 centimeters to 25 centimeters uh, from the diaphragm blue. It ascends close to uh, parallel to the esophagus, uh, where uh, it arch above the right root of the lung to join the superior vena cava. Position four below the arch of the aorta, 25 to 20, 32 uh, centimeters, including uh, two uh, um, more uh, important spaces anterior to the esophagus, the subcarinal space and our two pulmonary window. Subcarinal space can be achieved by uh, uh, tracing the descending aorta from the uh, gastroesophageal junction we can withdraw the echoscope uh, upward, uh, then uh, clockwise rotation or anti-clockwise rotation 180 degree uh, to make the probe uh, uh, facing uh, anteriorly. Uh, we will find anechoic structure, large anechoic structure, difficult to, to be missed. This is the left atrium. The left atrium, we withdraw the scope more and more. Yes, this is the left atrium. Uh, we can uh, find the left atrium. This is the mitral valve, left ventricle, the root of the uh, aorta. By uh, slight manipulation, clockwise and anticlockwise rotation, 
the left atrium come uh, to the left of the screen, and this is the right pulmonary uh, artery, uh, which is a branch from pulmonary trunk, and the area in between are subcranial space, lymph node is station seven, which is more uh, important station for uh, examination EOS in the spine. Uh, this figure showing again station seven subcranial area uh, in between left atrium and right pulmonary artery. This is the left atrium, left ventricle, mitral valve in between. This is the root of the aorta. This is pulmonary trunk giving uh, right pulmonary artery branch. Uh, and this is station seven. We, uh, when we use the rososcope uh, uh, more and more, uh, we can find lymph node station above the right pulmonary artery, medial to superior vena cava. This is station uh, uh, 10R. Again, this is the left atrium, right pulmonary artery, and the lymph node station seven in between. So station seven lymph node between left atrium and right pulmonary artery, while station 10 are, are lymph node above the right pulmonary artery, medial to superior vena cava, below the level of, of uh, arch of azygos vein. While station four are, are lymph node above the right pulmonary artery, medial to superior vena cava, but above the level of arch of azygos vein. Again, this is the uh, right pulmonary artery. This is uh, superior and inferior uh, pulmonary veins. This is superior vena cava and lymph node above the right pulmonary artery and the medial to superior vena cava. This is 10R. Uh, this video uh, showing uh, the EB window, aorto pulmonary window. This is descending aorta. Uh, we will uh, withdraw the scope till we reach its upper, uh, the upper end point. Uh, and then clockwise rotation uh, to trace the arch of aorta. Yes, this is the uh, uh, arch of aorta on the right and left pulmonary artery in the left. And this is lymph nodes station 4L, 5, 6, and 10L. These are uh, four lymph node stations here at this important station. Uh, uh, the aortic arch on the left, the right pulmonary artery on the right, 4L, 5, 6, and 10L. And again, we, from the aortic pulmonary window, we can uh, uh, go to uh, the subcranial uh, station by uh, clockwise rotation anteriorly from the aortic pulmonary uh, station, clockwise rotation, uh, facing the trachea, the carina of the trachea, then push the scope uh, downward slightly, uh, we will find the subcranial area with left atrium on the left and the right pulmonary artery on the right. Again, this figure showing the station uh, of aortic pulmonary window, 4L and 5, between the aortic arch and the left pulmonary artery, and the 10L below the left pulmonary artery and uh, station 6 below the aortic arch. This, uh, the blue line, this is the ligamentum arteriosum, which is the imaginary line between uh, lower border of aortic arch and upper border of left pulmonary artery. Uh, uh, this is a uh, imaginary line differentiate between 4L station and 5 station. And again, 10L station below the left pulmonary artery and 6 station bar aortic below uh, uh, and uh, beside the aortic arch. Again, aorto pulmonary uh, area with Mickey Mouse appearance, arch of the aorta and the left pulmonary artery. Also, again, this uh, equal uh, image showing aorto pulmonary window, the aortic arch on the right and the left pulmonary artery on the left. So this is station, position four, including lymph node uh, 4L, 5, 6, 10L in the aorto pulmonary window and the lymph node station 7 and 10R and 4R in the subcranial space. Position 5 below the subcranial area. This position showing the cardiac chambers. Uh, the main home base is the left atrium and descending aorta. Left atrium with slight anticlockwise rotation will choose the left ventricle outflow tract. 
left atrium with clockwise rotation will show the right side out flow track. Video for uh, the cardiac chambers. This is the left atrium, mitral valve, left ventricle. This is the root of uh, the uh, aorta. A slight manipulation to uh, see the right ventricle. Yes, this is the right ventricle, and this is the pulmonary tract. Pulmonary tract will give uh, uh, its branches right and the left pulmonary uh, artery. The uh, right pulmonary artery will, with the left atrium, will make the subcranial space. Again, left atrium. With anti-clockwise rotation, slight anti-clockwise rotation, we uh, will find uh, the right atrium. Left atrium above and right atrium blue and tricuspid valve in between. Here, the right atrium. On the left, there is the uh, insertion of the inferior vena cava. And on the right, we'll, we will find the uh, origin or insertion of superior vena cava. So this is the right atrium with inferior vena cava and superior vena cava. Again and again, slight manipulations. Yes, yes, this is the right atrium with the superior vena, inferior vena cava on the left and superior vena cava on the right. Yes, this excellent uh, uh, view. This is the left atrium, right pulmonary artery, and the lymph node in between, lymph node station seven, subcranial. This is the left ventricle. This is the root of the aorta, but right ventricle and the pulmonary trunk, giving the, its branch right pulmonary artery. Uh, again, left atrium, left ventricle, mitral valve in between, and the left uh, and the right ventricle, giving the pulmonary trunk. Uh, which will uh, divide it to uh, right and the left pulmonary trunk. Again, this is the left atrium and right atrium below it with the insertion of inferior vena cava and superior vena cava. Position five, below the subcranial area, uh, will uh, include lymph node station eight and, will, uh, and uh, station nine. Lymph node station eight, the lower paraesophageal lymph node, lymph node between the lower esophagus and the descending aorta. Uh, why lymph node station nine are lymph node below inferior pulmonary veins to the frag, close to the insertion of IVC to the right atrium. This video show uh, lymph node station eight. This is the descending aorta and the lymph node between the esophagus and the descending aorta, uh, lower esophageal lymph node, lymph node station eight. This is lymph node station nine. This is the upper portion of uh, IVC, uh, close to its insertion to the right atrium, and this is the lever. Lymph node uh, here is lymph node ligamentum, uh, pulmonary ligamentum lymph node station nine. Uh, finally, I will discuss in uh, uh, just two minutes a uh, demonstrative video for full examination of the mediastinum in practical uh, way. This is the liver and this is the IVC, its upper portion, uh, and close to insertion to the right atrium. This is the right atrium, yes, right atrium, and the lymph node here is lymph node station uh, uh, nine. Uh, right atrium with clockwise uh, rotation and the slight withdrawal of the scope. This is the left atrium, left ventricle, and the mitral valve in between. Yes, left atrium, left ventricle, mitral valve in between. And this is the root of the aorta. This is the pulmonary trunk. Uh, slight withdrawal of the scope. Yes. We uh, will find the left atrium to the left of the uh, screen and right pulmonary trunk, uh, right pulmonary artery to the right, and the station, uh, lymph node station in between lymph node station seven, subcranial space. Uh, then we will, uh, uh, torquing the scope 180 degree uh, to uh, trace the descending aorta. Yes, this is a descending aorta with a mirror image uh, identification by uh, interference with the right pulmonary artery. 
uh, yes. And this uh, here uh, we will uh, examine, examine the lymph node station eight, the lower paraesophageal lymph node. Again, 180 degree uh, to reg regain to uh, uh, the subcranial space, left atrium and right pulmonary artery and subcranial lymph node. Uh, then we will uh, withdraw the scope. Uh, anti-clockwise rotation and withdraw the scope for you centimeters uh, to reach the aorto pulmonary uh, area of window the arch of the aorto on the right and uh, this is the uh, sorry the arch of the aorta and this is the left pulmonary artery and the lymph node station 4l 5 6 and 10 l Again, we will trace the uh, arch of the aorta till it's uh, descending aorta, till it's end point, upper end point, where the arch of the aorta. And uh, by uh, slight manipulation, we will find the first branch uh, originating from the arch of the aorta, which is the left subclavian, sorry. Sorry for interruption. Yes. Yes, the first branch is the left subclavian artery originating from the arch of the aorta. Yes, here. And the uh, medial to it lymph node station 2L. By more clockwise rotation, we will find the left common carotid artery, left common carotid artery, which is the second branch. And in front of it, the venous seagull, uh, left internal jugular vein, joining the left subclavian vein to form a left brachiocephalic vein and uh, uh, lymph node in front of them are lymph node station 3A. Yes, this is the left common carotid artery. We will uh, use the pulse wave to uh, be uh, to confirm what is uh, this vessels. This is the left common carotid artery. Yes, this is arterial uh, pulsation, left common carotid artery. Then we uh, put the uh, Pulsation uh, for the venous uh, confluence. This is the venous pulsation, uh, 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 left brachiocephalic vein formed by joining left internal jug uh, jugular vein with left subclavian vein. And uh, as we said, uh, lymph node in front of them are uh, lymph node station 3E. By withdrawal of the scope more and more, we will uh, find uh, the root of the, uh, the neck and uh, Yes, and this, uh, and uh, we will find the left loop of the thyroid gland, sternomastoid muscle, and uh, left common carotid artery, and uh, the lymph node in the root of the neck close to the left common carotid artery is uh, lymph node station one. And finally, thank you.